Oh, girl. Hello there. I'm the Velvet Snatch, and I'm here with the incredible Lil from Drag Race Season 6. How are you doing, my dear? Yeah, I'm fab, thank you. <laughs> Do you want How to are you? Microphone? Oh, yeah. Did, was that rude then? Microphone. I'm so sorry. No, I'm fine. <laughs> Hello, How are you? Else being charged. I'm I'm doing all right. I think I think it's been tough times, but I think I'm doing right. I'm sick of all this rain and that. T- tell me when the tough start. The, tell me when the tough times began. Well, the tough times started back when I was an egg, back before before I hatched into when. <laughs> I'm still an egg. I've evolved. <laughs> No, like, so how how has life been since, uh, you know, the airing of season six? It's been fab. I mean, everyone's been so nice to me. Um, it, I mean, it's been blowing up online a little bit. Yeah. People, people have really been liking what I've been doing. Um, all good stuff. So, yeah. I, th- I think you've come across really well on the show, kind of thing. Like, as soon as you appeared, everyone was just like, who is that? They're amazing. Oh, they're family gorgeous. And it was like that kind of narrative, yeah. you know? <laughs> me and Daddy. You can't forget Daddy. Daddy. She's made her debut, debut now as well. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what's it like being on Drag Race? Like, was it what you expected? Were there any surprises? I mean, I turned up thinking, oh my God, I'm going to ace this. It's going to be so easy. And mm. I was so wrong. <laughs> like, it was really difficult. They really put us through our bases. And it was really stressful. Yeah. But it was really fun. There was like a lot of really good bits to it as well. I like that it's always a bit different there, where it's like some people go in going, oh God, I shouldn't be here, like imposter syndrome, and then other people are just like, oh, it'll be amazing. And everyone kind of gets a little bit humble, I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would change every day for me. So yeah. sometimes I'd be like, yes, I'm the most fabulous queen in the world. And then other times I'd be like, I just want to go home. I feel awful. <laughs> so yeah, roller coaster. Well, speaking of which though, you won the design challenge. Like, think, you know, yeah. A, how did that feel? And B, are there anyone, is there anyone that you want to collaborate with or like you know that you'd love to design for um well i think i'm gonna to have to collaborate with chanel for the rest <laughs> of time now aren't I? now that she's um got all my measurements and everything yeah she knows what i like so <laughs> might as well stick with her no that's that's fine uh what was the next question the next question was like is there any like is there any tea that you can spill from the season that might not have been uh, spilt yet or even brewed yet um, ooh. It's so hard because I don't don't want to dob myself in and say too much. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Got to keep some things a little yeah. bit secret. But I'm, I don't know what I can tell you. Well, can you tell us through like interpretive dance or something? Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all good. I, that, that gave, that, that, <laughs> I, I got that, I, I, you know, they, that, that gave a lot. <laughs> okay, I, what, like, you know, obviously being on the show, it gives you, like, a really great platform and whatnot. Like, is there any, any advice that you give to, like, queer youth or whatnot, like, who are progressing or just starting out on their journeys? I think just keep experimenting and finding out what is the most you version of you that you can be. Yeah. Because when you start, you've got to copy everyone else just to, like, get into the swing of it, find out what you like. But you really need to hone in on what makes you, you. Yeah. And then that'll help other people appreciate that what you're doing is unique and true to yourself. So I think if you just keep experimenting, keep trying, like, I applied a million times for Drag Race. Um, Were you there from season one? Season two, we wasn't yeah. apl- allowed to apply for season one because it was on Drag SOS. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But from season two, I <laughs> the floodgates are open. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you just got to keep trying with stuff. You never know what opportunities will come up. So. I think that's the thing. I've, I found like loads of people where they just go, oh, I'm not getting anything. And then the people that are succeeding, the people who are putting their heads out there, the, the people who are put, putting their necks out there and being like, hey, let's just apply for stuff. Let's try stuff. And then, yeah, well, you might as well give it a go. I don't, yeah. you know, you've got nothing to lose. Well, exactly. That's it. But um, speaking of like, you know, obviously the family gorgeous, like, did it feel, how does it feel being part of the family gorgeous and being on Drag Race? Like, does it feel like it's like, were, were you like sort of, obliged to do it now that Cheddar's been on? Well, Cheddar did very well, didn't she? She got to final two. <laughs> yeah. So that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> then Banksy didn't get quite as far, so that's less pressure. <laughs> that's so it was it was kind of a bit of both, really. Um, and I just want to make them proud at the end of the day, because yeah. like, they're my sisters and they've taught me so much, and I just want to make them feel proud. So I wanted to do my best. Yeah. So hopefully I've done that. I guess we'll find out. There's 
might be some things that they might disabandon me from. <laughs> but guess what? But I doubt. Well, speaking of the family gorgeous, we've got a little game to play. What is the name of the game, Stu? Uh, the gorgeous game. The gorgeous game. Okay, I could have guessed that. Actually, thinking about it, I've, I've asked for help and I didn't need it. But yeah. is this going to be a game of who's gorgeous and who isn't gorgeous? Kind of, <laughs> that, that's not very nice. No, no, that that, that would be horrible. But what it is? Let's play it. <laughs> I'm going to basically. Uh, it's. Quick fire, okay? So I'll basically yeah. say who's the messiest, who's the uh, craziest or whatnot. Okay. And you just tell me which one of the family gorgeous is that, in your opinion. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Right, okay. Uh, so, okay, who's the craziest? Uh, Violet. Okay, who's the messiest? Banksy, definitely. She's <laughs> an absolute tramp. I don't think you can say tramp anymore, but she's a tramp. <laughs> she's a tramp, okay. Who, who's the most uh, craftiest? Craftiest? Probably Cheddar. She loves a hot glue gun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, who's the most political? Hmm. That's probably cheddar as well, you know. <laughs> I don't want to do a double bill of cheddar, but... Double yeah. bill of cheddar, there we yeah. go. That's, that's it. I'm going to say cheddar for all of them now. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> that's there. a thick sandwich, I think. But uh, Okay, who's the who's the most likely to steal your man? None of them. <laughs> you keeping your man? Yeah, I'm going to keep him. I don't think anyone can steal him, thank you very much. <laughs> Least of all us. Ladies. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> And, and finally, Emma, who's the most likely to win All Stars? Uh, me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lil, is there anything that you'd like to promote while you're here? Um, yeah, my new website, www.lilworld.com. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much for speaking to us at Girl Global, Lil. Thank you for having me. This has been cute. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 o